Man, I really wish people will stop asking me about other wrestling YouTubers. Look, I don't watch nobody else. For the past seven months, I haven't watched anybody else besides Jim Cornette. Look, I have my own channel. I have my own voice. I have my own platform. I don't need to watch nobody else anymore. If you don't share the same opinion as me, I'm not gonna watch you because you are gonna piss me off. So I stopped watching other channels and I don't I don't need to look, I don't need to do that any, anymore. I have my own audience. I've got the juice now. Look, man, take my advice. If you don't like my wrestling opinion, how about you start your own channel? That's what I did. I got tired of listening to dudes who don't know about wrestling, who say dumb shit just for shock value, that 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 hold no weight. So I said, you know what, man, I'm done. I'm gonna show these fuckers how to do it. I'm gonna show these people how to talk wrestling from a logical standpoint. So I stopped watching other people. Take that advice. So stop asking me, do I know this person, that person? I don't watch nobody else besides Jim Cornette. That's it. Me and him, we share the same opinion, I would say 90% of the time. And that's high as hell to me. So it's like, look, I have my own channel, I have my own, have my own opinion now. So it's like, dude, I don't watch nobody else. It's not me being a cocky guy. It's just, it's a waste of time watching somebody else at this point. It's like, why? Listen, if you see how the way I talk to people in my comment section, it's plain obvious I hate people. Okay, I'm just being real. I hate people. I'm not a people person. I hate people. I'm not a friendly guy where it's like, oh, I watch every person who has a wrestling channel. No, I do not. Okay, those days are over. Those look, those days are over. I'm done with that shit now. I'm done. I have, I have my own voice. I have my own channel. It's over. I got the goddamn juice now. I don't give a fuck. But when it comes to Ali and versus Leah Rush, there is a huge weird ass double standard. And it's like, do it's cult like behavior. If you think Leah Rush sucks, that's cult like behavior. You wasn't saying he sucked in his last company. You wasn't saying he sucked when Mr. Con Man signed him. You were saying, oh, this is a great pickup. He fits right in with the roster. Where is your proof and evidence that he, that he sucks? You see, this is why I don't listen to nobody else. You have no factual evidence that he sucks. So, every time Tony Khan, I wouldn't say fire somebody, he, he's the opposite of Vince. Vince says, you're fired. Tony Khan says, you're expired. That's Tony Khan's catchphrase now. You are expired. So let me get this straight. Every time he expires somebody, you say, oh, they sucked anyway. Brian Cage, he sucked anyway. Let me show you how Tony Khan put a huge foot in his goddamn mouth with Big Swole. I knew that I was gonna come back to bite his ass. He said he didn't resign her because she was a good in the ring, right? Okay, so that's your bar. That's why you don't resign people, right? Because you think they're good in the ring. Okay, what about what about Brian Cage? What's your excuse about not resigning Brian Cage? What's your excuse? You you can't say he ain't good, bitch. Former Impact Champion, you can't say he ain't good. So far, you crowned two wrestlers for your roster as Impact Champions, Omega and Christian. So you can't say he sucks because you're saying, okay, 
I guess you're precious, Kenny. Kenny, Omega sucks then. You can't say K sucks, so what is your excuse for not signing up at Brian Cage? Huh? You see, I knew that I was going to come back to bottom in the ass. Because what is your excuse about not signing Brian Cage back? You can't say sucks because talent wise, he fits your roster. He's all about the work rate and the flips and dives and kicks, right? He is what you were looking for in a in a wrestler on your roster. So how come you ain't trying to sign him back? See, it's cult like behavior when you are basically enabling Tony Khan's behavior. Everything he does gets a fucking hall pass. Leah Rush does not suck. Dude, he was a former cruiserweight champion, so if he sucks, that means I mean, that means Pac sucks. If he sucks, that means Nice sucks. See, see, you see what I'm saying? Where is your proof that he sucks? He can work. Leo, Leo can talk. So that's cult-like behavior, where everything AW does, you gotta fucking toe the line. That's bullshit to me. Dude, you are going to run out of excuses now, man. I'm sorry. You are. You put your foot in your mouth. So now every time you don't resign somebody, it's, oh, they sucked anyway. Okay, then why'd you sign them in the first place, dumbass? Once again, hashtag cult like behavior. So when a crybaby like Mustafa Ali, the past three years, this crybaby has been crying on raw talk about how Kobe Kings took my spot. I haven't got no opportunities. This or that. I deserve to be one of the best people in the car. I'm a I'm a I'm a, a main event guy. Bitching and complaining. Dude, I swear to God, man, if he was AW, he would have been off TV like Brian Cage, like Leah Rush, like Big Swole. Oh, but Vince is so evil. Okay, this guy's been crying about his spot for the past three years, and yet Vince has not buried his ass. In fact, he gave him a he gave him a fucking faction. I don't care. Look, fuck you. I don't care if his faction sucked. I don't care. Who cares? The fact that he gave him TV time in a fucking storyline, in a fucking faction, he said, hey, I'm going to give you this. See if you can get this faction over. And he didn't. How come he, how come he can't turn, look, how come he can't turn trash into a treasure? How come he can't turn a broken item to a fixed item? That's the sign of a great wrestler. I'm going to give you trash. See if you can get this trash over. And he didn't. Whose fault is that? You can't keep blaming Vince for his wrestler's failures. Ali ain't that good. If he was good... He would have been a cruiserweight champion on 205 Live. If you can't be a champion on that fucking show, a show that now has females on it, you ain't that good. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, man. You see, this is why I don't watch somebody else. Because you would just piss me off. I don't watch somebody else. It's like... <laughs> Every time AW cuts somebody or lets them go, they suck. That's your excuse. But every time the WWE gets rid of somebody, you say, oh, they dropped the ball or, or uh, oh, Vince, he buries everybody. Everybody who goes there always turns, turns out to be trash. That's all I do is cut everybody. Oh, but how come you don't say they sucked anyway? Why? It's like when it's, it's crazy because when Leo Rush got cut by the WWE, you were saying, "Oh, he is a wasted talent, wasted potential. How can they cut him?" 
then he doesn't resign with, with, with a W and he sucks now, all of a sudden, you see, that's hypocrisy. That's the definition of hypocrisy. And that's why AW would never grow. It's like, you can't keep treating that cup like, like a fucking baby. You can't keep babying AW every way, shape, and form. It's like, it's fucking stupid. It's like, how would, how was Ali buried? How was Ali not used right? He ain't that good. Dude, Enzo Amore, a guy who has not that good, not that good a fucking rook, right? How come he was champion? Jew Gulak, um, Tozawa, Nice, Buddy Murphy, Cedric Alexander, Santos, um, other people <laughs> like Angel Garza, Leah Rush. They were all cruiserweight champions over Mustafa Ali. And this guy was the heart and soul of that show, to a far line. They didn't think he was good enough to be a champion on, on that on that on that shit show. A show that had no viewers, damn near half empty audience, and yet they felt like he wasn't on that level to be a champion. And you're saying he was misused? How? If you can't be champion on two or five lot, guess what, but you ain't that you ain't that good, you ain't that guy. So how can you say Leah Russ ain't that good? And he does. Leah Russ, he he does the same shit as that whole roster. Does Dante Martin do anything better than fucking Leah Rush? Sammy G? Jungle Boy? What does Jungle Boy do better than Leah Rush? Tell me. Tell me. I dare you. I will look if if you tell me this answer. What does Jungle Boy do better than Leah Rush? I will pin that comment. I will pin it. I will pin it. Tell me what does Sammy G do better than fucking Leah Rush? I need answers to that. But like, look, cult like behavior once again. You had you you had evidence that he sucks. So here he is, a former cruiserweight champion, and you are defending Ali, a guy who can't be a champ, a guy who couldn't win the cruiserweight champion, a title that's now gone. He couldn't win that shit. What does he deserve? Now let's get let's get back to where this all started from. Kofi Mania. Look. Ali was never supposed to be a world champion. I don't know where y'all got that from. I know the full story. He was never supposed to be a world champion. This is how it was gonna go. He was he was gonna be in that long ass gauntlet match. He was gonna have a good showing. Then he was gonna translate that to to a chamber. He was he was gonna be the last man standing with uh, Brian. But he was gonna win. But he was he was going to come close, and then he was going to get his rematch at Fastlane against Brian. But guess what? He was going to lose that match. If it was for him getting hurt, that was where it was heading. That's why after it was I think it was I think it was Owens, Ali, and Brian. At a fast slam for the world title. See, it was supposed to have been a one on one match with Brian versus Ali. But the real plans at that year's WrestleMania, it was supposed to have been Kevin Owens and Dan Bryan, one on one world title. Because Kevin Owens, his plan was to be a face. That was his plan when it, once he, he came back. He wanted to be a face. So, at that year's WrestleMania, it was supposed to have been Kevin Owens and Dan Bryan, not Kofi or Ali. But the point I'm, try, point I'm trying to make is, what evidence you have that Ali was going to get over? Nobody knew 
who the fuck he was? He was a unknown 205 Live guy with no connections with the audience. So, what makes you think he was going to get over like Kofi did? Kofi had 10 years in the fucking company. He should have been a world champion fucking 10 years ago. So, that's why the audience felt sympathetic t towards Kofi. Because they felt like he was overdue for a world title. That's why Kofi got over. Kofi for years was fucking leapfrogged by Del Rio, CM Punk, Sheamus, Miz, Dolph. For years, Kofi had to take a back seat to those guys. And then Kofi finally got his, his opportunity in that gauntlet match. And that got him over. That's the point I'm trying to make. You saying Ali would have gotten that kind of you saying Ali would have gotten that kind of reaction towards the audience? Hell no. You serious? Dude, he has no fan base like that, bro. Yeah, he he has a fan base on Twitter. Like, who gives a fuck? But on TV, he has no fan base like that. The crowd does not cheer his ass. It's crazy. All you fanboys of Ali, how come every time his, look, every time his theme song hits, you don't say shit? You don't cheer him, you don't say his name, you don't chant it? It's, it's false outrage. It's fake outrage. You don't, you don't like his ass. You just want to cry and bitch. He ain't that good, man. He was never going to get over like a like a like a Kofi Kingston. Never. He was never going to get over like Kofi did. Ever. You saying Vince was gonna send him to fucking WrestleMania? Are you serious? A god who's not over? You see? You serious, dude? It's been three years. Where is his push that he so-called rightfully deserves? Where? They tried. They tried to make him. They tried to make him a leader of a faction. They tried. I don't care if it sucked. Get it over. You look. You can't have Vince hold your hand. You gotta sink or swim, man. Nigga, dude. I guarantee you. If I was the leader of fucking Retribution, I would have gotten that faction over. I don't give a damn, man. You see how I talk? I would have gotten them over. <laughs> you serious? I would have made them fucking legit. If I was the leader of fucking Retribution. Are, are you serious? I would have made you take them seriously. Dude, Ali ain't... Look, he ain't that good. He ain't, he ain't that guy. So get over it. But to say he was misused, how? He ain't, he ain't that good. He ain't that big. Not tons of charisma. It's like, where is your proof? He's no fucking Leah Rush. It's like, it's very disrespectful to say Rush ain't that good. Like, huh? Dude, when you say that, you are kissing and defending the ass of Tony Khan. Because he said it when he lets contracts run out, it's because he feels like they are not good in the fucking ring, right? Right? You said that was the reason for Big Swole being gone. Okay, uh, so I guess that's the reason why Cage gone, Rush gone, even though they are very talented in the fucking ring. Something that Khan loves, right? You see what I'm saying? It's false outrage it's fake outrage man all you're doing is kissing the ass of a of a fucking aew and that's why i don't listen to nobody else on this same platform only person i watch is jill Cornette and, and um me that's it because most of the people on this platform got dumbass opinions if you say rush ain't that good you are a dumbass are you serious huh what does he do that Jugger Boy ain't doing? Huh? 
In fact, Rush can actually talk. And look, they was trying to do something with Rush. But guess what? He was booked like shit. Yes, Rush was booked like shit. And how come y'all ain't seeing that? Y'all say he sucks. No, he don't suck. The real plan was for him to be the manager of um, Martin. He was supposed to be the hill manager for Dante Martin. But, but for some strange reason, they went away with that storyline and they, and they went with Team Taz, which was a dumbass reason, a dumbass storyline. And once he spoke out against Tony Khan, he, he replaced him with another fucking black man. Jay Lethal. You see what I'm saying? That's that's the look, that's the difference between Khan and Vince. Vince let Ali talk shit about the company for the past three years, man. Rush, all he said was, I don't like what Khan said about Swole. And when that got him buried. That got him buried in, in off TV, and now he's gone. Are you serious? Rush is a talented guy. You're saying he ain't good enough to get resigned by fucking AW? That that company, huh? A, look, everybody does the same shit on that roster, like Leo Rush. When it comes to the fucking ring product, when it comes to wrestling skills, everybody wrestles like the same way as Leo Rush. So. That's why he's gone, because he has a big mouth. He had the balls to speak up against Khan. And people are saying, um, oh, Hobbs, I don't respect Hobbs for having the back of a uh, Khan. Why? I, <laughs> Hobbs has a family. Hobbs knows how Khan works. If Hobbs was to speak out against Khan, he would be on dark and he would be off TV. And guess what? He would be out of Team Taz. That's how Khan works. If you say shit about his company, he will bury you off TV. And guess what? He will fucking he will fucking expire you. That's how Khan works. That's why Hobbs kept his fucking mouth shut. He has a family he has to fucking take care of. If he gets on Khan's bad side, Hobbs will suffer. Hobbs knew that. Look at look at Cage. Cage wife kind of look, man. Cage wife pretty much buried his, his career. Hobbs seen that. That's why Hobbs had the back of Khan, so Hobbs can stay being on TV and still have a goddamn job. That's the point I'm trying to make. But enough with this goddamn fan, AW fanboy hypocrisy. Rush was good. He had the balls to spit out against Khan, and that got him fired. With Ali, it's like, look, he ain't that good. That's why Vince don't really care about him like that. He ain't that good. So if he gets cut, it's because look, man, he ain't he ain't that good, man. So how come it don't go both ways? You saying Rush ain't good, so Khan Khan cut him. Okay. Then how can Rush not be misused then? He was misused. He's he's talented. So yes, he was misused, but you're not saying that. You're saying Ali oh, was misused, even though he he sucks, kinda. He sucks. I'm sorry, he ain't that good. If Enzo More won the Cruiserweight title over you, guess what, bro? You ain't that guy. I'm done. 